This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Pavilion M6 laptop computer, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an HP Pavilion M6 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to make it safe to work on and that means removing the battery. To remove the battery, we flip the laptop over, slide the lever to the right, the battery pops up, we lift it up, and we remove it. Okay, also, while we're on the bottom of the laptop, I'll show you how to find the model number for this laptop. It's under the battery, and it's on the left-hand side, and it says Pavilion M6 at the top, if we can get a good focus. Okay, Pavilion M6. And we, I'm not able to get a good focus right now. And the third line from the bottom on the left says M6-1045DX. And that's what you're looking for when you're trying to find the model number. Okay, there we got a good focus now. Okay, we flip the laptop over, lift up the lid, and move on to the next step. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you which tools we're going to use to replace the screen. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the size. A smaller PH00 screwdriver. A flathead screwdriver a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver to pry things open. We might not use this one for this laptop. A pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that might be stuck and to manipulate cables. And an X-Acto knife or X-Acto blade. And we're not going to use this one today because there's no uh, screw covers to remove. Okay, so let's get started. Um, for most laptops, the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen, is mounted to the back of the screen assembly with some screws either at the top or at the bottom or both. For this laptop, there is no screws. You just snap the screen bezel off and we'll start doing that momentarily. The thing to watch out for with this particular laptop is that there's adhesive on the back of the screen bezel. So it's, it's attached to the screen itself. So we're going to slowly lift up the adhesive and snap off the screen bezel. And there are some tricks which I'll show you along the way. Okay, so we start with the side. We put our fingernails or fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting up the screen bezel. This particular one is flexible, so probably won't worry as much about breaking it. But you do have to be careful with the adhesive, and there's a lot of it at the top. So we gently start lifting it up, and you'll hear the adhesive coming off. So we work our way slowly around the screen bezel. So this one hasn't been opened before. I found one that hasn't been opened before, so I can show you what it's like to open it up for the first time. Second time, it's easier to open it, but hopefully you won't have to do that. Okay, and the bottom is the tricky part. So we still follow our same procedure. Start at the corner and kind of get a grip or a foothold on one end and keep moving around like so. And what you find is that the bottom of the screen has a little circuit board and the circuit board has some tape on it and it's going to attach to the, to, the, to the screen bezel. So it's going to be a little bit tricky and you're going to end up bending that circuit board. But since the screen is going anyway, we don't care. So we tilt the screen up like this and just kind of peel just kind of peel the screen away or the bezel away from the screen like so keep going a 
like this and we're done. Okay, so let me show you what I was talking about. This circuit board is attached to the screen and it's bent now, but that's okay. It's part of the old screen. So we don't mind if it's bent or even damaged because we're going to remove that part anyway. Okay, so the next part is to remove this old screen from the screen assembly. And this part is fairly easy. We use our PH00 screwdriver to remove the two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom. So one, two, three, and four. It's the four small black screws. There's some uh, metallic color screws on the bottom. Don't touch those. That's for the mounting hinges. Once we remove the screws, we gently tilt the screen forward, like so. And we see that that little circuit board that's bent, we'll bent it up again on the bottom. And we see that the connector has already been disconnected from it. So don't worry about that part. Everything is as 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 it should be. All right, the other thing about this screen is there's some uh, rubber pads or flexible pads at the top that we need to transfer to the new screen. So, and in this case, I already have the new screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the new screen on top of the old screen. So, and we remove the rubber pads from the bottom of the old screen. You can use fingernails and put it pretty much exactly where the, they were on the old screen like so. Kind of mark the place. You can even mark it with a marker if you want. It doesn't have to be exact. Maybe a little bit further apart is better so this way it won't get in the way of the webcam. Okay, and for now we put the new screen to the side. We'll get to that again in a little while. And we'll take a look at the old screen. So what we want to know from the old screen is the part number so we can order the new screen. And the part number is B156XTN03. That's all you need to know. B156XTN03. Okay, so when you're ordering the screen, you can also order the screen from us, from Screen Surgeons. And we stock this screen. And what you get with us is the free toolkit, is the tools come with the screen for free, the exact same tools as I used here. You also have a two-year warranty on the screen and free email technical support. And we ship to most countries around the world, so if you're not in the United States, just follow the regular checkout procedure and we can ship the screen to you. To order the screen from us, go to screensurgeons.com and then there will be a short form for you to fill out and we just need your email, laptop model and just a description of what happened. Then we'll send you back email with the link to buy the right screen online and then from there you can go ahead and order it. Okay, so let's put this screen to the side and we have the new screen here and I'll show you how to install the new screen. Okay, in your case, if the connector was not disconnected, what you want to do was we'll reconnect it and disconnect it a couple of times to make sure that we know how to do it. So first thing is I'm going to connect this connector. You slide it into the connection. make sure we don't damage anything so I'll go 
slower. We slide it in to the connection. And let's take a look at the close up with our connected. When it looks should look like when it's connected. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The connector the connections should be flush with each other. This is a properly connected connector. And when you slide it in, you'll hear but not you'll feel but not hear two clicks. Okay, now let's slide it out again. And this if you did not if your connector did not come off when you remove the screen, what you do is slide it out, like I slid it out, and then reconnect it as I showed you. Now the other thing that I noticed is my connector was a little bit bent when I took it out. So what I did was I pressed it together with my fingers and that did the trick. So if you having trouble with the connector sliding in, press it together with your fingers and it'll go in. Okay, so let's slide it back in again. Like so. And it comes in and we cover it up. Okay, once we put the connector in and we have the rubber pads on the bottom or on the top, we put the screen back up, make sure everything is flush together, we'll make sure the video connector cable is attached to the back of the screen assembly, and then we put the small screws back in. There's four screws. three and four. Okay, once we put the screws in, we remove the plastic film from the top of the screen, like so. And we grab our screen bezel, which is down here somewhere, and we snap the screen bezel back on. So in order to do that, we put the screen bezel down and snap it back on. It goes on a lot easier than it comes off. So work it in with your fingertips, like so. And same on the bottom. Okay, that's it. And your laptop is as good as new. And once again, my name is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the laptop screen doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.